Hey guys, today I'm in Massmouth, Queens and I found an old ballpark that operated between 1884 and 1902. So the ballpark hasn't been in use for 120 years. However, the actual baseball field still exists to this day. Now I'm going to have to do an overhead uh, view to show you the uh, ballpark because when I get there it might not actually look like one. And then I'm also going to be doing a studio narration for the most part. I'm just doing this introduction. But right now I'm on Grand Avenue and Page Place. And right past that second orange sign there is where I can make a turn to go to where the baseball stadium is. Now I'm a little nervous because it's tucked away in an industrial park. Like, I mean it's completely hidden, nobody would know it's there. And I'm just hoping that I can walk through Grand Industrial Park to get to where the uh, baseball stadium was and where the uh, field still is. Let's have a look. Okay, that's perfect. Now see, what I want to do, there's no sign that says private property or no trespassing. And in fact, right here, it lists uh, businesses that are down there. So I should be able to walk down. Now what I need to do is, uh, you see the brown building right there, the park is actually right opposite it. So what I want to do is hopefully film the park for like five minutes if I can, and then I'm going to do a studio narration. So I'm going to stop the uh, live narration right now, and then we're going to flip over to the studio one so that I can tell you about Feldman's Atlantic Park in Maspeth, Queens. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to hide my disappointment today. Over on Google Maps, I was surveying the area and I discovered this baseball-shaped field in Maspeth, Queens. After doing my research, I was able to ascertain that this field was actually once known as Feldman's Park and indeed it was the home to a baseball stadium that opened in 1884. The Google satellite map is obviously fairly recent, so that meant that the field where baseball was played nearly 140 years ago was still intact. When I zoomed in, I even found a little alleyway that would give me access to the hidden park buried inside of an industrial park. So imagine my disappointment when I got there, only to find that the remains of the baseball park that had stood for 137 years was now being built upon by a construction company. It is certainly not what I had hoped to find, and I was a little heartbroken because I would have loved to have captured the field on camera to tell you the story. I mean, in little snippets, you will see me put the camera through some windows. And while the grass is no longer there, technically the grounds are still there because construction hasn't actually begun on the field as of yet. So with a little imagination, you can still picture the ballpark. By the way, while you are here, why not click on the like button if you are enjoying the content? The original inhabitants of the ballpark were the Atlantic Club of Brooklyn. However, they only played two professional games there before being kicked out of the league for failing to pay their first opponents their guaranteed money. But the area wasn't just a ballpark. In fact, when it was converted from a picnic area, a horse racing track was also built around the ballpark and there was a hotel on the grounds as well as a grandstand. When the Feldman family took over the lease of the park in 1890, business thrived. Each weekend, around 10,000 people would visit the park, 
not only for baseball and horse racing, but for the new entertainment complex that the Feldmans had built around the hotel. There were pool halls, a dance hall, and a casino, as well as special attractions designed to get patrons to attend. Perhaps the most famous event of all happened on this ballpark in the year of 1890. A baseball game had been organised between a feminine nine and a masculine nine, but the residents of Maspeth were up in arms over the spectacle. The two main areas of concern were firstly a local church service that was disrupted by the hooping and hollering of the men, and the fact that boys under 12 were admitted for 15 cents, a fact that concerned parents were not aware of. This caused a kerfuffle because by all accounts, the masculine nine did not attempt to play baseball properly. Instead, they allowed the feminine nine to run around the bases in their short skirts, all of which was done to gratify the men present. In 1893, a new lease was signed by William Thompson. However, the film retained the name Feldman, either as Feldman's Park, Feldman's Atlantic Park, or Feldman's Queens County Grounds. The half-mile racetrack was replaced with a mile-long one, and a new 15,000-seat grandstand was built to replace the old one. One sport that was highly popular in the late 1800s in the USA was cycling. In fact, there is an Olympic cycling event to this day called the Madison, a name which is taken from the cycling track at the original Madison Square Garden in the late 1800s. Feldman's Park also had an oval-shaped track that was not only used for cycling, but for athletics in general as well. It was in 1897 that another very special event happened here at this park that we are visiting today. Two cyclists, Benny Simon and William Wagner, were both trying to win the hand of the pretty 17-year-old Pauline Samuels, with whom both were dating. So the two men made an agreement that they would hold a 10-mile bike race at Feldman's Park, and the winner of the race would capture Pauline's heart and her hand in marriage. Miss Samuels also agreed to this proposition, and indeed went to the track to watch the men race for her heart. Unfortunately, no result of the race was ever posted in the newspapers, so who the lucky man was, I'm afraid that I'm not able to tell you. But imagine that, that one day, Two men raced on this field that is in front of me to win the heart of a fair maiden. Many ball games were played at the park between 1884 and 1902, mostly between local clubs and organisations, and the horse racing track was eventually replaced by the athletics club. The pool hall remained, as did a gambling hall, and there was a rather sardonic article written in the New York Tribune in 1901. Apparently the police captain of the 77th Precinct visited the grounds in search of illegal activity, but found none. Even though there were around 800 men betting on the horse races in the gambling hall, police captain Hardy only ever saw two boys there around 17 years of age. The article was quite funny to read. Finally, in 1902, a fire started in the dancing pavilion. Despite the efforts of the patrons in attendance, the fire spread and burned down both the pavilion and the grandstand, and also caused damage to the hotel. Baseball continued to be played here until at least 1911, and the athletics track survived until the end of that decade. But after that, Feldman's was used primarily as picnic grounds with a dance hall. The last known event to have taken place here was in September of 1934, when a picnic was arranged for the Republican Party candidate. 
So that was a quick little story of Feldman's Park, which was active in one form or another for 50 years between 1884 and 1934, and where the baseball field remained in place for a further 85 years or so. Unfortunately, as you can see, all that remains now is the construction dirt that is now covering what was once the baseball field. But I hope that you at least found the story interesting. Take care for now, guys, and I'll be back with another New York story next week. Well, if you made it till the end of the video, you'll probably realize how disappointed I was. It was only like uh, a year or two ago that there was a small fence around here, like much smaller than the one there now. And you could actually see the uh, baseball stadium. And now there's nothing left of it. So I wasn't able to capture it and I'm, I'm a bit heartbroken over that. I really wanted to record that before it disappeared. But we do have that overhead view from Google which will serve as a reminder of Feldman's Atlantic Park that once stood in this area. What a disappointment, eh? I'm bummed. <laughs>